Is it a good idea to use spray foam and fiberglass together? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Foam University. Today we're going to talk about when and if you should use spray foam insulation and bat insulation together. Before we dive into this, please go below and hit that like button for me. Thank you. So, fiberglass and spray foam insulation being used together. You've probably heard this referred to as a flash and bat system. So what this simply is, for those of you who may not know, it's, it's a quick layer, that's why they call it a flash, like a flash coating of spray foam on the outside of the stud cavity, and then you would put a layer of fiberglass batting on top of that spray foam towards the inside of the stud cavity. Now, this is usually presented to you as a you know, potential cost-effective way to, to insulate the exterior walls. Well, the fact is, is this may not actually be cost effective. The reason I say that is by the time you put an adequate amount of spray foam insulation on the outside of the wall cavity, when you put that fiberglass on top of it, the money that's spent on that fiberglass probably is not actually giving you enough savings energy cost wise to actually pay for itself. So in a way you're likely best just to leave the spray foam as it is because like I said, that fiberglass will likely not save you enough money to pay for itself being applied. So keep that in mind if you're considering this as a cost effective alternative. Now, we just mentioned, you know, putting that spray foam on the outside, typically you're going to be talking about closed cell spray foam. And this is where the next potential issue comes into play because you need to put the spray foam in thick enough to actually achieve an air seal. Now that thickness will vary depending on what type of brand of foam you're using, but generally it'll be about two inches at least. So let's say you need to put two inches of spray foam in there. If it's being recommended to just put a quick flash coating of one inch of spray foam, that's generally not going to give you an air seal. What can happen at that point is moisture can come through the foam and now you're trapping moisture between the foam and the fiberglass. Over time, that fiberglass can become saturated and cause all kinds of moisture issues inside your walls. So keep that in mind. And like I said, that kind of goes right into the cost effectiveness because you will have to bring that spray foam out thick enough to achieve an air seal. Once you've done that, once that spray foam is to the point of achieving an air seal, that's probably enough insulation to give you a thermal resistance also. So again, it's probably not actually cost effective to add fiberglass on top of that. Now, is there ever a time when it does make sense to use fiberglass and foam insulation together? Yes, absolutely. There is a slight alternative option when you're talking about a flash and bat. And what that is, is using foam board instead of spray foam on the outside of that stud cavity foaming or can foaming or caulking or siliconing around that foam board to make sure you have a good air seal on the outside of the cavity and then putting that fiberglass bat on the inside. This is a good alternative way to do somewhat of a flash and bat, but it's a DIY method and this can be a good cost effective way to insulate an area. Specifically, if you're looking to renovate or remodel a small room, maybe a bathroom or a single bedroom, something like that, using that method of foam board, some type of sealant, and then fiberglass can be a lot less expensive than having a professional company come out and spray foam everything. But again, giving you that building envelope and establishing that air seal as well as thermal resistance. So again, is there ever a time and place where using foam and fiberglass together can make sense? Absolutely, but it all depends on the application. Wondering how all this works with code? Check out this video here. Also, look at the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you see all of our notifications.